where do the stories come from? You know, how do you do it? You know, some people find their way of expressing themselves at a very young age, and, and for other people, it happens much later in life. You make good movies. <laughs> you, you, you do, and that's really great. I was surprised when I went to Netflix and just was looking through your, your, your film list, and they call every one of them a comedy. Well, I call them comedies. I call them very sad comedies. Um, uh, it's hard to say which is the saddest of my comedies, but, but they're all, they're all uh, sorrowful, painful comedies. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I think Netflix did it right then. I, uh, so, uh, <laughs> I, I, you know, they don't have a category that says sad comedy, so they gotta, <laughs> you know, it's just, uh, they have, yeah, so it seems better than drama, you know, which, which uh, has other sorts of... Uh, resonance, I think, for, for the Netflix shopper. Yesterday we were talking about one of the, the things that was really important with um, directors and actors is that relationship of trust. A lot of people, they say, you know, actors are so difficult uh, and they drive people crazy and they, they don't listen. And, uh, but uh, you really have to always respect what an actor is doing for you. And uh, you have to be patient and you have to listen to them and, uh, and, and let them know that you're listening. If they do a good job, it makes you look like you know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> I always think when it comes to the camera, you have to do what's right for the material, what is supportive of helping uh, propel the story fur furthest and, uh, and, and uh, so that it's not uh, in any way a distraction to the narrative. It has to always be in the service of the narrative. For me, uh, uh, a cameraman, uh, his job is to service uh, the, the work so that it's, it's, uh, it's everything's uh, in support of the story, the narrative. Uh, I, I think my work tends to be very charged on the page, and so uh, everything's about restraint, and, and, and you keep it simple. The hardest thing on day one, you go to any sort of film school, uh, is, you know, how do I tell a story? Well, uh, a film school can't really teach you that. I mean, you, 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 you know, <laughs> it's just, uh, you, you know, you, you have to have uh, you have to find it within yourself to find this, to discover those stories. And uh, you'll find that's the hardest thing in the beginning uh, for, for most everyone. Um, and uh, the day you graduate, it will remain the hardest thing. Um, uh, and, and if you continue to pursue this beyond school, it will always be the albatross, you know, that, that, that burden, that, that, that puzzle you must uh, uh, solve and, and, and find the key to. Uh, without uh, a narrative, without a narrative that has an arc that, that can support all your brilliant ideas, you really have nothing. Uh, there are no rules to any of it, however you go about it. Uh, the point is that you're actually doing it. The school can facilitate the execution and the development of your stories, but those stories have to come within yourself, from yourself, from within, within whatever it is that that moves you, that, 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 that uh, uh, is sparked by guilt or shame or fear or joy, for that matter. There's a pathos and a comedy that, that, that's, that, that they're married to each other and, and, and I'm moved and, 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 and yet there's a, there's a certain kind of irony at work. Um, so it's, it's, it's all, f and it's all just fraught with a kind of ambiguity that, that excites me. So uh, it's a creative process, not an intellectual one. Uh, you sit and you, uh, or lie down, however you do it, and, and you start letting it come, and you discover it. It's all about discovery. Why am I putting pen to paper? What? And then, of course, you write, you finish your script, and, and then, of course, you think it's genius, um, because anything less, why bother? You know, so you, you think you've got this genius script, um, and you think you know what it is about and what it's saying, but then you start production and, and it takes on another life and you say, oh, that's what it is, you know, oh, okay, as you see things play themselves out. And then in the cutting room, as you start uh, paring away uh, at the debris of your genius script, 
um, you, you, you begin to distill, ah, oh, this is what it is. So it's always a process of, of discovering and self-discovery. You know? And so that at the end when people ask me, well, did the movie turn out the way you planned? It never does. But uh, if you're lucky, uh, it turns out better. For me, the great thing is having success, you know? Success, you know, is, I, I had failed for so many years at so many things that, that uh, I really valued success that much more. Um, and it can't be underestimated. Um, it opens so many doors and so many possibilities for you. Look, if I had, if Welcome to the Dollhouse hadn't succeeded, I never would have gotten the money to make happiness. Uh, I would never have, you know, I can, I can call up and say, you know, I like this Bell and Sebastian. I wonder if they would like to work with me. They, they send someone and they call, oh yeah, we love your movies. Yeah, we'd love to work with you. Devendra Banhart, you know, I really want a song with by Devendra. I'd like to venture to go and work with my ones if he likes. Oh, I love it. Oh, this is great. I'm so excited. That's success. <laughs> when you're not success, it's who the fuck are you? Leave me alone. <laughs> <Okay>? <laughs>